Hey everyone and welcome back to another weekly plan with me. So I'm going to be planning for the week from the October 30th through to the 5th of November and I'm not going to be using a kit this week, I'm just going to be using a pen. So this is going to be an all pen spread. I've never done one before and to be honest I was quite nervous. There was a few mistakes along the way but unless you try you just don't know. So I'm going to take the pages out of my planner and that way it's just going to be easier for me to draw and write without having to worry about the thickness of my planner. And we're just going to get started and go in day by day as I would usually do. And I'm not an amazing artist or drawer and my writing isn't the neatest in the world. It's all just kind of about having fun and just kind of just going with it really that's what I was doing so first thing is obviously I wanted to film this plan with me on the Monday morning so I just drew a little planner and a pen and wrote down film plan with me and then I just made like a little checklist I wanted to edit it as well as film a mock spread and edit that as well I also wanted to make sure that I actually had some breakfast because I've been missing breakfast a lot lately so I just quickly drew a little smoothie glass and then wrote down the ingredients that I would put into my smoothie I also wanted to work on some orders so I just wrote that down and drew a little laptop and I wanted to also do some laundry at the same time. And then at some point throughout the day I did want to give myself a face mask to refresh my face especially as it's been getting really chilly here then my skin does tend to get a little bit dry so I just wanted to give it a little moisture boost with some face mask. I made a banner that said homework and I have two TV programs on so I just drew two TV icons and wrote them down. So for Tuesday it's Halloween and uh, this is the first mistake, I didn't realise how big my writing was getting and I kind of went over onto Wednesday but that's okay. I just write Halloween in bubble writing and then I write happy over the top of it which you can't really see on screen but in person you can definitely see. I also wanted to make sure I uploaded this plan with me so I just wrote that down and then done a little film clapper icon beside it. I wanted to do some housework as well so I just drew a little broom with a little clean splash of water if you like. I then made a to-do box and we've also got a party that we're going to on this day, it's like a Halloween party so I have to get everyone's outfits ready and a few other things so I wanted to write them down and I was definitely going to need a little coffee break before we actually started getting ready for the party. So as well as having my coffee I was going to be sending some emails at the same time so I just drew another little laptop and then wrote down email and then originally I was going to make that into a mouse and then I just made it into an arrow because it kind of went a little bit wrong. And then down here I'm just writing down that we have got the party to go to. For Wednesday I started with a today header or like the headers that you would usually stick down into your planner and I wanted to upload the mock plan with me of my new kit. It's actually already up in my shop, I'm just really late in uploading my mock plan and it's my first Christmas kit that's up in my shop but obviously there's going to be more coming. So I wanted to make sure I uploaded that on Wednesday, I also needed to make sure I'd done some designing in the morning and then I wanted to block off a really big chunk and I kind of drew the shape and then I didn't really like it. So this is like the second mistake if you like. I think I'm just gonna stop pointing out my mistakes, but I just wanted to give myself a really big reminder that this was the last day to work on my secret project before I'm going to be uploading it. So I was going to work pretty much all day on there. And then obviously my children have got some more homework to do. So I just wrote that down in a banner and then just drew down some like homework sheets and a little pen. I've also got two DV programs on on that day. I'm watching The Strand and Team Mum 2. And then moving on to the next half of the week, I've got some happy mail that's due and I really wasn't sure how to kind of draw this into my planner. So in the end, I decided to draw me holding a little envelope and then just write happy mail underneath. I've also got some important phone calls that I need to make so I just drew a little page flag to write the word call and then made a little checklist of the people that I needed to call. With all the laundry I've definitely got some clean laundry to put away so I wrote down the word clean and then on top of it I wrote the word laundry. And then I'm just making a little short to clean list.
I have really been failing and neglecting my Instagram lately so I thought I would try to mark sometimes in my planner that I need to upload an Instagram post so I thought a throwback Thursday to one of my favourite spreads would be a good idea. I also need to make sure I finish the new releases that are due on Friday and then obviously my children have got homework which is just the usual and then I have two TV shows on again. So for Friday it is my new release day so I decided to draw this kind of weird looking banner <laughs> um, which says new release and then underneath I uh, need to update my Etsy shop on the new release so I just wrote update shop and then put a little icon with the Etsy symbol. And then to remind myself again to make an Instagram post I just drew a little camera and then put down Instagram. I also want to make sure that I answer everyone's comments if anybody ever leaves me any comments on my YouTube videos or actually on Instagram or any comments anywhere on my social media I want to make sure that I am answering you so I just wrote down the word answer comments and then in the middle I just drew a film slate. I also need to make sure I do a food shop on this day as well so I like to do my food shops online lately because it's so much easier and it just gets delivered straight to my door. So at the bottom I just write down the word Friday because I didn't really have any other plans happening and then I wanted to watch a really girly movie while I was designing so I just put down movie and then Team Mum too. I then went and drew a weekend banner and I just done this in bubble writing, it was really easy and really simple. My partner's going to be working on the Saturday morning so I drew a little alarm clock and put Jace working. And then I just done a banner and wrote down day out because I've got a feeling that we're going to be going out but nothing's like set in concrete so I didn't want to fill it all out and then it not happen so I just drew an empty box. And I'm just going to make my to-do list which is only two things and then I was going to have a movie night with my boys with fluffy blankets and popcorn and it's just going to be a really nice chill out night. For the Sunday morning we usually go out for a nice family walk somewhere so I just wrote down the word family and then I put walk underneath and drew a few of the leaves because we'll probably take a walk in the woods somewhere. And then when we come home from the walk I will give all of the kids a bath so I just wrote the word bath down with a sponge that kind of doesn't look like a sponge but that's what it's supposed to be and then a splash of water around the word. I also want to film next week's plan with me so I just drew a little planner and wrote down the word film and then I'm doing my to-do list which is the same for every Sunday it's just getting things ready for the school. So moving on to the sidebar, I really didn't um, know what I was doing here, I'm completely winging it, but I just drew a little page flag over the word notes because I don't really like that there. And then I made a header here for my Instagram and I'm making a like a habit tracker and this is the only way that I could think of doing it. And I also made one for my face because I'm making sure that I'm moisturising and washing my face every single day. Then I just write down next week and then put down the few things that I know that are happening next week. And I was just checking on my calendar so I knew what to write down. And then at the bottom obviously I had nothing, no stickers or washi or anything to kind of fill it up so I decided to draw a little picture that was kind of Halloween themed as it is actually Halloween this week. And then when I'd finished that, all I needed to do was pop these pages back into my planner and I was all done. I did forget here I was going to draw a college and write interview in there at 10, but I completely forgot I did leave the space to do that, so I quickly just filled it in and I didn't worry about drawing a college. 
So here's a close up of this week's spread. I hope you guys like it even though it's completely different. If you did then make sure you give me a thumbs up. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel as always and I hope you have a lovely week and I will see you next Monday. Bye guys!